Ladies and gentlemen, Tactical Advance there, and welcome to the second part of the tutorial. Now, landing. Now, we've seen landing before because I've done a sort of a landing video a little while ago. But so I cut out the, the sort of start of it and just sort of got on with the landing. Now, uh, what I did try here is um, going to give the manual a go. It's not as easy when because of how fast it actually moves. You just have to tap it. It'd be a bit of a heavy landing. Ooh. Touchdown. Great work. While we're waiting, feel free to take a look at your ship's setup. Okay, so we got... Yep, that's good. see your weapon groups, shield configuration, and power distribution. Now, wouldn't mess around with them during training. Now, what I did notice is that I think there's a little bug with the HUD. The bits disappear every now and again. Okay, so, uh, there we go. Some bits missing there. Topped off. Let's get back out there. Take off when you're ready. Here we go. Going up. Whoa. Let's see if we can stand this. Where is he? You can also use it to overpower your maneuvering thrusters in order to take tighter corners. Let's go and find him. Let's go and find the bossy man. You do have a limited amount that takes time to replenish, so don't go nuts with it. If you need to cut your speed in a hurry, use your space brake. It's much quicker than dialing back your engines, and the moment you let go of it, you'll automatically accelerate back up to your previous speed. Let's give that a crack then, shall we? Space brake. And brake. And ready to land. <laughs> I could actually, could actually land on that rock, can you? I like all these weaving in and out of these rocks, guys. Much more fun. I'd love to have a Think map where it's loads of rocks. Together? Let's see. A bit of concentration now. I'm going to hit a rock. And what I'm going to try and do is, to, every time I go into a turn, is to keep the top of the ship at the top of the turn, so you get full Still view. Me, Good job. Now one thing you need to understand, every ship's outfitted with systems to look out for you. That last sharp turn, you probably felt your ship clamp down on the speed. That's your G-safe system kicking in. Making sure that you aren't taking too many G-forces and blacking out. If you need to get that extra edge in turning, you can disable G-Safe, but be warned. An unconscious pilot turns to a dead one pretty quick. G-Safe, alright, well, we won't be touching that then. Don't like the idea of dying. In you the also tutorial. have ComStep, which adjusts your forward velocity so you can make controlled turns. Disabling ComStep will allow you to maintain your velocity in turns, but you will drift wider. Cool, got that as well. Take fast. It'd be brilliant if you could play like the Van Dool flying through these rocks and stuff, it'd be really cool. Still with me? Alright, I'm a little impressed. Race you to the spire. It's a bit unfair, isn't it? Race you to the spire. He's about a bloody mile in front of me. Hold on. I've got contacts inbound. Oh Contact. no. Vandal fighter. Dead ahead. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. All your systems are active. This is a live fire encounter. Mark your target. Copy that. I got the other. Good luck. I've got the other one. Got this. Lost a piece. Nice. Stay sharp. We've got more hostiles inbound. Looks like there's a glaive in the mix. That glaive's a recognized ace. Enemy designation is tank. We're gonna have to work together to take it down. 
Target the claim. Press Y, yep, got that. Let's do this, let's go and get tank. Tank's going down. He's uh, engaging tank with the um, missiles. We'll just go for a different one. Come back to him in a minute, eh? Let's get this one. He's weaving in and out of this place. Whoa. I think Glaive just actually flew into the We're clear. tower behind me. Hell of a training session, huh? Danger. Radiation critical. Get Radiation? Power spikes from your ship. It must have hit your power plant. Your ship's loaded with military intel, so we can't let it fall into enemy hands. You'll have to initiate self-destruct before you eject. Self-destruct. Cool. Let's do this. I'm ready for this. Is there a timer? It's the only thing I can't do remotely, kid. You have to initiate. Hurry. There we go. I'm pressing the button. Oh no. Okay, self destruct and eject. I didn't do that. Okay. Come on, bail out. Three seconds left. Get back here. Whoa. Close there, kid. <laughs> Leaving it to the last minute. Let's get you back to base. First round's on me. Well, that's it, guys. Well, so, that was actually the advanced training as well. It was pretty good. I think if you did it over a couple of times, that, and uh, you did it over and over again, you know, you, it sort of drew the controls into you. I thought it was pretty impressive. Uh, I like flying through the rocks. Love to see some sort of vandal fight flying through them rocks. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.